Hi there and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how I draw anime face from a profile view and we do this step by step. So while many artists start by drawing a circle, I actually start by drawing the eye. Rather than drawing a circle and drawing the head, I start with the eye. So first I draw the eyelashes. And I usually start from the left side and then go down to the right side. I'm drawing a male eye, so I will keep the eyelashes pretty simple because if you draw too many eyelashes, it will start to look like female eye. And then you just connect the eye with the lower eyelid. Like that. Next, I will draw the iris, but instead of going straight down, I will draw a small curve. Then I draw the pupil. Like so. Then we start to draw the nose and the forehead. Now I don't have any exact measures of how or where you start the kind of like the nose and the forehead. But you know you can always correct the lines later on if, if a feature seems out of place. I also draw the eyebrows or eyebrow in this case, just to keep, give the character a bit of mood or emotion. If you draw the eyebrow to the uh, a, a bit down, it will make the character a bit more angrier, so this time we won't do that. Then I start to draw the bridge of the nose. Just going slightly outward. And remember, you can always correct the lines later on, so... Don't fear if you are, kind of like, if you draw... Do mistakes here and there, it doesn't matter. You can just correct them as you go. Then I start to draw the lips, and as you can see, I'm kind of following a downward curve rather than just drawing everything in, in a straight line. Then just follow on the line and draw the chin. And as you can see, we are already forming a face. And the bigger chin you make, the more kind of like muscular male you are drawing. Then we start to draw the actual head. And I tend to draw back of the skull first just to see where the head kind of like ends. And here's a cool little trick you can do. Just select the end of the head or back of the skull and move it around and feel how far it should be, what looks good to your eyes. And remember, not every skull is identical, so it can be a bit further away also, don't worry if the skull isn't like totally round, it shouldn't even be, so just draw what looks good to your eye. 
then I'll start to draw the neck a bit, not too much, just to give it a hint of what it could look like. Then I draw the ear and it should follow the eye, eye line. I place it roughly in the middle of the head. If you are thinking what size of ear you should draw, just draw what looks good to your eye. Because there is no right or wrong size when it comes to ear. Then I draw the jawline. And as you can see, it's not too precise. You can always modify that. Even if you are using pencil and paper, you can still just draw a jawline and then fix it later if it just doesn't look good. Then the throat area, just to give it a hint of you know, what it could look like. As you can see, I'm only sketching of what it could look like, not giving a precise and final looking lines. Just feeling how it should go or how it could go, not by like it should be like this. It's more like, like this looks good and that's how I usually draw what looks good rather than what what is precisely realistic or seen in real life. There we go. This already looks pretty good, but we are missing the hair, so let's draw some kind of a hair for the character. I don't have any specific hairstyle in mind, but I'm just drawing something that looks like a rough and still very kind of flowy hair and I suggest you draw this to another layer so later on if you feel like something went wrong or you want to change the size of the hair or anything regarding the hair you can easily change it by just by going to the hair layer and modifying that. Instead of if I'm drawing it straight to the layer where face is, then I would have to erase um, certain parts or in the face or something else, but it's easier to modify the hair when it's in a different layer. Just drawing something pretty quickly to get some hair for the character. But as you saw, we drew the profile view pretty fast and it wasn't that hard even though we didn't have any rulers or guidelines or anything. So you can also draw a profile view just by drawing face and the eyes and first and then the skull, whereas usually People teach you to draw this uh, circle first, uh, showing you the shape of the skull, but then again, you can also do it this way. And as you can see, I'm leaving room here uh, for the hair, so it's not directly coming from the skull, it's above the skull. As you know, hair has volume, so we can't draw or course we can always draw the hair straight to this skull but it wouldn't make any sense or it probably wouldn't look too good so make sure that you give some volume for the hair it looks a bit better that way like so but yeah I will finalize the image next but this is pretty much how I draw a profile view Hopefully you liked the tutorial and if anything don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching. Also don't forget to check my blog for more step-by-step -step guides and art tutorials.